Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After selecting the Shape tool in the toolbox, you can then click the Rectangle tool that appears in the Tool Options bar to create rectangles by clicking and dragging from one corner diagonally across to the other corner over the area where you want to place the rectangle. To draw squares instead of rectangles, hold down the Shift key after you begin to click and drag, or simply select Square from the drop-down in the Tool Options bar before you click and drag. Be careful of using the Shift key. Pressing Shift is also the keyboard shortcut for Add to Selection, and it will do this if you press it before drawing a new shape when a shape layer is selected. This same trick also works for drawing rounded rectangles. Checking the Snap checkbox in the Tool Options bar snaps edges of a rectangle to the pixel boundaries. You can also check the From Center checkbox in the Tool Options bar for many of the shapes to draw them from the center outwards when checked. You can uncheck it to turn this feature off. When you select the Ellipse tool, you will draw an oval shaped area from corner to corner over the area that the ellipse will cover. To draw a circle, hold down the Shift key after you begin to click and drag the mouse or simply select Circle from the drop-down in the Tool Options bar before you draw the shape. To draw from the center of where you want the ellipse to appear diagonally outward, you can also hold down the Alt key after you begin to click and drag the mouse. Or simply check the From Center checkbox before you draw the shape. Once again, be careful of using the Alt keyboard key after drawing your first shape. Pressing the Alt key is also the keyboard shortcut for Subtract from Selection, and it will do this if you press it before drawing a new shape when a shape layer is selected. Polygons and stars are drawn from the center outwards by default. Click either tool in the Tool Options bar, and then click and drag from the center of where you want the polygon or star to appear outward to its edge. It grows in all directions as you click and drag. You can specify how many sides the polygon or star should have by using the Sides text box in the Tool Options bar. You can also set the percentage of indentation of the star's arms by entering a percentage into the Indent box in the Tool Options bar. For both shapes, you can check the Corners checkbox for the Smooth option in the Tool Options bar to smooth the corners of the shapes. For Stars, you can check the Indents checkbox in this same section to smooth the star's indentations too. You can select the Line tool to draw a line of the width that you type in pixels into the Width text box in the Tool Options bar. To make arrows, Select a choice of arrow heads from the arrow head drop-down in the Tool Options bar. You can then enter values for the width, length, and concavity of the arrowhead in relation to the width of the line by typing a percentage value into the W, L, and C fields. Then simply click and drag to create a straight line or arrow. To use the Custom Shape tool, first select the Custom Shape tool in the Tool Options bar. Then click the Shape drop-down in the Tool Options bar and double-click the specific shape to draw. Then click and drag in the layer to create the selected shape. To constrain the proportions of the custom shape to prevent warping, hold down the Shift key after you begin to click and drag, or select the Defined Proportions choice from the drop-down in the Tool Options bar before you draw the shape. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.